wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. It's 11. <laughs> Good morning. It's 11:50. Can you see this? Wearing my fucking new hoodie, um, the bargain hoodie I got yesterday. And I actually, the funny thing is, I told you guys I ate cake and I ate all that stuff. You said I really did eat that. Don't. I mean, even if you see the way in today in the morning, you're like, Mark, how's that possible? I actually have no idea. I ate three bread rolls in the morning. I even had Nutella in the morning. I ate this whole cheesecake thing I showed you, um, and. At night time, we had like pans where, you know, you make your own food, which is this kind of thing. It's a bit of a, a raglette sort of style. We call it pans. Um, yeah, so I was eating loads of food. Didn't do any exercise because of my rest day. Um, no, I did exercise. Sorry, today's rest day. Um, that was 92.2, which is like, I'm, I thought I'm going to be 93.5 or 94 again. So, yeah, today I'm having breakfast again. And this is what I'm eating, eggs. The pan really fucked up at the end of the day. Um, only one bread, one piece of bread, curd cheese and some coffee. That's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. And yeah, today or tomorrow is, is the last day. We nearly did it, guys. And now my, my battery's empty. By the way, you've probably seen that the video which I've uploaded yesterday um, was a bit with a delay, maybe even today, because like I told you guys, I'm trying to um, make things more efficient. So I'm trying out something new. I have someone who's helping me with the cutting and that lady is sitting in the UK. So I need to transfer over my raw files. She cuts it and then we upload it. So just let me know how you liked that video also. Um, and yeah, I need to figure out how to do this because I need a space where I can obviously upload stuff really fast. So we're, you know, you're, you're live with me in this, basically creating content, making things more sufficient. Sometimes that happens by trying and erroring things. We'll see how that works out. Yes, we hit 16,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. You just seen it here on, uh, I posted it on Snapchat. And yeah, I'm, I'm really pumped and happy. Uh, you know, it's like, it's crazy what's happening, the, it, especially with my channel, because there are some videos which get a bit of traction and then they just go fucking through the roof. And what happens then is loads of people subscribe. So in the last, I think, two, three, four, five, six, in the last six days, we already gained another thousand followers, which is just ridiculous, so cool. I love when these spikes happen because it also gives me an opportunity to reach a louder, larger audience, new people, new questions. And again, like I said, I get so many freaking questions and they're, they're really, they're all awesome. And I'm trying to keep up with this. So um, bear with me, keep asking questions. I will keep answering them. Naim Amat, he's saying, Mark, Daily exercise for side splits, please. Just check out my split series, not my split series, my stretching series. So just click over here there. I've got a stretching series and it teaches you basically everything you need to know about box splits, side splits, woman splits, man splits, whatever you want to fucking call these splits. Yeah, and it gives you also like a, a more or less, um, you know, how to breathe, how often should you be stretching, all that stuff. So make sure you watch that. In terms of when you say, how do I learn side splits or the, the box splits? You have to keep doing them. That's that's really what what it does. There is no magic formula in it. You you go into these positions and you know like I tell you or teach you within that regime. Um, it's a bit like how do I learn driving or how do I learn boxing? You learn it by doing it, right? So simple as that. Question comes from Justin Crespo. Justin Crespo is saying, Mark, what is after this experience? What will be the next thing? What are you going to be doing? Um, well. Like I already said, we're going to be continuing this challenge. We're going to extend it to a 90-day challenge. 
um, hopefully 90 days, we'll see how we go because I do want to make sure that as of Christmas, you know, within the Christmas period, um, I'm going to start a new, total new program at the beginning of the year. So how much, how, however much time we have during now and Christmas, you know, before everyone leaves and, you know, starts eating and stuff, at that time we will use to um, work on our workout programs and so on and so forth. So I will be updating this week the actual workout program, which the guys who bought it, you know, you can download the second version of it, which will have another four day split and a five day split. And I will explain which one every one of you guys should be doing. But you know that already because you've watched the other ones. If you haven't, click over here. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and I might be doing some, you know, eating challenges like, like the uh, McDonald's challenge or something like that. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's that's sort of the, the idea. And when I'm back in London, obviously I'm gonna be focusing more on, my actual challenge is building my business and my uh, other challenge is building this YouTube channel to explode in the fucking fitness industry. We wanna really take it to the next level, all of you guys and me, because we wanna show people that real people behind the camera can make a difference. Well, you know my opinion about the, the other fitness YouTubers, most of them, you know, not all of them. The other thing I want to do is I want to collaborate with some other guys within the fitness industry, health industry, beauty industry, uh, women, men alike, doctors and so on and so forth, which can bring more value to you as well. So that's sort of what is next after this challenge. If you don't like that, give me other ideas. Now, extra says, why aren't you arching your back? You know, arching your back when you do the bench press. Why are you laying flat and not arching your back? Every motherfucker is doing this, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then Paul is saying, Mark, you know, it's probably because uh, they struggle with too heavy weight and that's why they're like, oh God, I can't do it. So as an example for the bench press, what happens is when you lie flat on the bench, um, you know what, I'm going to show you, I'm going to lie on the floor. That's going to be easier. Fuck, we need to, we need to find a bit different angle. So I'm going to show you now as an example, when you do bench pressing, what happens. So in terms of your movement from your scapula, which is your shoulder blades at the back, got something called protraction and retraction. Retraction is when they go closer together, like retract, pulling to the back is retraction, retracted position, protracted is when you go to the front. <coughs> now in terms of bench pressing, what normally happens is you lie on the floor and then as you sort of push out your chest because you retract, what happens is that you build that arch. You can see how that lifts off the floor. No, you fucking can't see this here maybe. So you're in the bench press position and you load up and then you have this arch in the back. That's because your shoulder blades, when you're here and you push them together, that's when I get this arch in the back. And that's when you really, you know, push it out. You could also press it onto the floor and then do the bench pressing. Now, what is better and why do people do that? This uh, position where you retract and you go into that position where you push out your chest and then you go into the bench pressing, for some people that works really well because they stabilize their upper body and when they really lift very, very heavy weights, that's a way of getting it off. And also because of the angle, if you can see this, if I push like that or if I push like that, the angle towards my chest is different. Let's go straight forward or goes out of here. So the, the pressure on the shoulder joint and on your, on your rotator cuff is also gonna be different. Um, now for me, I like to engage my, my core a lot by doing that. So my, uh, I don't arch that much when I do bench pressing. I really press my, my arch to the, to the um, bench and that's how I stabilize my sort of bench pressing. It doesn't mean to say that's the best way of doing it. You know, you have to really figure out what is good for you. But if you see some other, you know, pro powerlifters, they even say the power comes out of the, because when they, they put the feet on the floor and they say the power comes out of the feet, squeezing the butt through the arch into the actual bench press, which is an interesting concept and it does work. But that is a very, very difficult technique to learn. Um, I just like bracing my core and really then pushing it out. I mean, that's just how I do it. Yeah, so either way, you know, if you retract and then you go into, into pushing out and you have a different angle on your chest, just give it a try if you like. And, but when you lie flat on the bench, what you do have to do, and you might have not seen it in my, in my abs, is they're super tight, my back is tight, everything is like fully engaged when I go into the bench press. 
Whereas when you retract the shoulders, your upper body is already fully engaged. So these two movements, by engaging the core and pressing into the bench like I do, or if you go into a retracted position and push it up, these two movements are just there to stabilize your body to be able to do the bench press. That's all. The fucking thing is, it's Sunday, and like I just said, in Germany, Sunday everything is closed. So, um, yeah, we've got one freaking egg here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the petrol station, I'm gonna show you in Germany, there's not that much variety, not like in the UK where 